what's going on guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest but today we've got something a little bit different and that is that we're finally on the season 8 pts like i talked about in the last video i was disappointed that i didn't get a record on the season 8 pts or i did get a record but i didn't get to record anything good because i had stupid audio issues so that was kind of unfortunate but this time i think audio should be ex like acceptable at the very least i'm not totally sure it should be decent uh, I've been spending a ton of time working on it. I've actually had some videos that I have not uploaded because of audio issues. And literally every time I would go to edit one of those videos, I would go back and try and figure out what was going wrong. So I think we're finally good or incredibly close. It should at the very least be good soon. If we do have some of those issues in this video, then I'll be able to work on it from there. But I think it's finally fixed uh, and we're finally going to be back to decent stuff. But we're on season eight PTS. We're in the solo lane, obviously, and we are slapping this man's cheeks. Oh my God, the blue stone on Arthur. Oh, baby. But yeah, that's what we're going for this game. We're going for, for blue stone Arthur. I feel like um, if you guys know much about the uh, the PTS starter items, you probably understand why we are doing Bluestone Arthur. But if you're unfamiliar with Bluestone, whether you played Smite later after Bluestone was no longer a thing, or uh, or whatever, Bluestone is an old starter item that's made its way back into the game in Season 8, along with a ton of other starter items, which we will talk about over time. Um, but there are a ton of new starter items. Bluestone is one that I've been very much looking forward to. Can I not kill myself right here? Why did I get my three? That probably was not worth... I mean, we do proc Bluestone with it, but I don't think it was worth. Let's see. I actually might get to kill him. Hold up, hold up. You think the man goofs? I don't think he's going to goof. I think he's going to be smart. Um, but Bluestone is an item that basically just makes our abilities hit harder. Like, ridiculously harder. Like, we do a lot of extra damage on every ability, and there's no maximum amount of stacks. It just resets if you get two stacks. So, we do stupid amounts of damage on Arthur because he is a switch stancer. Bop! Okay, I gotta not die. Um, but right now, right now I'm trying to bully a little too hard. The big downside of Bluestone is that you're not tankier. Uh, the big upside of Bluestone is you do a stupid amount of damage. So we can, wait a minute, does he die? No, almost, man, almost. So we can get into trouble where we're not a tanky boy in the solo lane, and that can get bad. But on the other hand, we do absolutely absurd amounts of damage with all the little, little resets we get on the Bluestone stacks. Because Arthur has like seven abilities that we can potentially proc Bluestone off of. You know, norm normally you have four, and normally you don't spam them nearly as much as Arthur does. So that's really, really fun, man. I'm mostly looking to cheese, honestly, in the beginning of Season 8. I'm mostly just looking for what sort of cheese I can pull out and have fun with. Because that's a lot like, I don't know, that's always the beauty of, like, new updates, and new maps, all sorts of different stuff that happens in Smite. Oh my god, this is probably not going to be an upload. <laughs> I just realized our team is 0-6 three minutes in. Um, one thing, you know, just in case this doesn't go absolutely terrible and we do end up uploading this or it's just acceptable enough that I'm like, fuck it, we'll upload it. It's a 20 minute game or something like that. Um, it's worth noting, uh, PTS matchmaking, I'm going to lower my standards. It's, you know, it's PTS. Ironically, PTS matchmaking in a way has been really good, in a way has been really bad. Um, the big downside to it is I feel like it is a bit unbalanced, but the big bright side to it is that I've actually been getting good players, um, which is not at all normal. Normally in PTS... I feel like I'm smurfing, um, and so far this PTS has actually been really, really fun. Uh, what I've been actually running into like a lot of pros, like SML level players, high level ranked players. I've been getting lots of really good players in my games, like literally better than my normal smite casuals uh, would be, because a lot of the players that are in ranked and are maybe above me in ranked because I, I don't normally queue ranked, I actually get to play with them. So that's been fun, but the big downside is it's not balanced, and a lot of them are in like five queues. So while I'm like solo queuing into just whoever it gives me you know, maybe we're going against, like, an SML team, and obviously that's going to tend to be rough, so. There's been some stuff like that. Oh, come on, Cthulhu, I want to kill you. Just just a little bit of bait. Just take it a little bit. Come on, you know you want to press two. Why did I cancel that back? There's no way he goes for this now. Yeah, there's no way he goes for that now. Unfortunate, man. Um, bing, bang, let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, man, what happened? What happened? Everything's going so bad. Oh, nine. Jesus Christ. Your middle tower is under attack. Yeah, they do have a really good team. I don't think these guys are like on a team together as far as I know. Um, but at least these three up here are really good players that I'm aware of. I'm not I'm not sure about the rest, but I know those guys are really, really good. I can't remember if Oceans ever actually played pro. Oceans was at least I think Oceans like barely played pro for a little while. If I remember right, but he's been a really good player that's been around forever. Um, like, I have an old friend of mine that doesn't even play Smite anymore that teamed with him for a while. 
And uh, I feel like he's like one of those names that a lot of people don't know that follow the scene, but a lot of people that know that have been like around the scene. He's absolutely nutty, man. He's actually like such a slept on player that a lot of people don't even know about. Is that flame? Oh shit, we're about to have a rat battle, boys. <laughs> this, this PTS casual conquest is about to pop the fuck off. Oh, they added new icons. That's sick. That looks so much better, the uh, the new scorpion icons, compared to just having, like, dots or whatever they were. So much better, man. Bully. Bully. Get bullied. Wait. Wait a minute. He's not allowed to reverse that. It's not okay. I'm trying to build up a little bit more energy so we can big ult him. Oh my god. He got so clapped. Oh, we played that nutty, dude. We played that nutty. That takes me back. That absolutely takes me back to the good old days of just spamming big ult on King Arthur. I love it, man. I love it so much. Oh, the boys are... Let's go. The boys are fragging a little bit. Maybe it's not over yet. I'm gonna build greedy. Apparently, this is cheap now. I didn't even realize it was. Um, we're gonna just straight up build hybrid and see how things go. So things to talk about. There's a lot of stuff to talk about in Season 8. We're gonna have different videos, different roles... Um, different paces of different videos. I'm, I'm really just going to try and upload a ton of the games I get into. Um, but uh, we're going to have some different things to goof around with that I'm really going to try and, and kind of emphasize just because the meta is going to shift a lot. And especially with Bluestone, I'm going to try and basically bring it back to what I used to do in the solo lane. A lot of you guys probably don't remember this or aren't even aware of it because it's pretty OG. But back in Season 4 when I first started the channel... Oh, that's a DC... Back in Season 4 when I first started the channel, um, I played hyper-aggressive solo lane and main solo lane. Because uh, for the longest time, that was actually my main role. The only reason I main jungle now is um, that it's more fun because Seasons 5 through 7 solo lane was just boring as hell. And I felt bad for anybody that mained it. So, uh, we would play it every once in a while, but it really wasn't my main thing. Oh, I didn't yoink it. I Wait, okay, okay. <laughs> he kept channeling his two, so I just got it for free, I guess. I guess we'll take it. Um, but we're going to try and get back to the hyper-aggressive solo lane that I used to have so much fun with. Alright, we're going to wait on the one. Bang. I might die here. Oh, he's not actually he's not actually rage quitting. Nice. Yeah, I'm loving the absolutely zero ganks on me right now. It's making me feel a lot better. I'm hoping we can one-shot him. I don't think we do. Oh! He goofed. He goofed so hard. His dash was up, right? I think it was. I think he just goofed big time. I feel like I get ganked. I'm just gonna back. Yep. Yep, sneaky. Big sneaky. Why do you... Okay, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's just trying to take blue buff. Let's go, baby. Easy blue buff. Get farmed. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> like the little auto at the end there. Get the fuck out. Who is he? Is he is he ADC? I think he's ADC, man. Why are you here? Alright, we're gonna go Ansel. I don't know. I don't know how good Ansel's gonna be in solo lane realistically. Like we probably don't get much value out of those procs. But um but I thought it'd be fun, because we can just build hybrid. Oh my god, wait. Wait, we can build really hybrid. What the fuck? I forgot they, they changed Ansel. I didn't remember this being a thing. So Ansel, they lowered the protections and they upped the power. This is actually going to be a really interesting item now for, for jungle. I don't know about solo. It's probably stupid to build this in solo lane. Um, especially on Arthur. Like, I, I'm, I'm borderline trolling with this build right now. Because Arthur doesn't scale very well. I just want to do a lot of damage because damage is fun. Everybody likes damage. Um, yeah, 60 power. Oh my god. We're actually probably going to build this a lot on, like, some of the slightly bruisery jungles like, like Thor and stuff. That's ridiculous. All right, what's up, boys? I don't have an ult, so I don't know if I get to do anything, but we can try. Flat. Merc. Oh my god, he's so greedy! Is he gonna frag him? Do you... Okay, okay, we're good. We're chilling. Oh my god, man. I thought he was just about to absolutely farm them right there. That was actually, like, that was gross. He just like, he just like 1v4 for a minute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, by the way, Mannequin Scepter, we are going to have some fun with this item. Oh my god, the, the early videos I was recording back when I had the audio problems, the first round of PTS, uh, we did a lot of Mannequin Scepter nonsense, so I thought it'd be more fun. In the meantime, we'll probably goof around with some other stuff, because at least for me, that's been a little more recent. 
Let's go, baby. Stay in the game. I like it. Um, for me, that's been a little more recent, but we will get to it pretty quickly in these PTS videos. You should, uh, you should probably stop with that I'm very hopeful that we actually get a, um, a stupid amount of videos up. We'll see what happens. Because so far, I've actually been having a lot of fun with PTS. The big downside has really just been this matchmaking and how inconsistent it is. Oh, they're bullying at speed buff? That's not okay. Hang on. Papa Arthur to the rescue. I'm coming, boys. I don't think they'll have Yorm. Or not Yorm. Uh, big, big stupid man. I don't know what his name is. I can't think of it. Cthulhu. So let's see, let's see if we can clap a little bit. Uh, don't react. Do you have wards? Bah! Absolutely slapped. Let's go. This man is level six. <laughs> this man is level six. Oh, the silence was huge. Oh, I, I boy feel like a bot. Unfortunate, dude. We actually don't kill him because of that. We actually don't kill him. Like, oh my god. I thought he was Cthulhu, man. There were too many bodies. We could have killed the Merc, too. Damn, I can't tell. I think we just slapped because of Bluestone. I can't tell. I think Ansel did a lot of work there, but it's probably still not worth. I think it was just coincidental work and not like uh, not like actual value work. It still is going to be a really fun item, though. All right, Merc is slapping. Uller is slapping. We probably want some physical defense. Um, I'm assuming we just go Glad Shield. Yeah, Glad Shield's the exact same, so we'll grab that. And we'll grab Blink. By the way, Thorns got nerfed. Big Pog. Big Pog. Thorns got nerfed. Thorns, big, dumb, active. I hate it. It should be out of the game, in my opinion. Um, so even though I do want to spend more time in Soul Lane, Thorns is the absolute most potato brain part of Soul Lane, and I'm so happy that it's getting toned down uh, so it's not as forced. Because while it is fun to just bully with Thorns, it's also really, really, like, not, I, I shouldn't say small brain. It's not like you're stupid for building thorns or anything like that. But it just, it takes so little, like, thinking to use thorns. So it's really fun to force people to play, like, smarter and actually, like, make good plays and not just be, like, run it squishy with, with thorns popped forehead, you know? Makes soul lane a lot more fun. Stop. That Ansel value, though. We're dying. Oh, my God. Okay. Did he just, like, did he just triple crit me? Or does he just slap? I think he just triple crit me. I really want to know. I wish I did know. He did... Wait, no. He, like, he 100% triple crit me. Because he did 1,200 before protections. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty unlucky. But honestly, I don't know how much it mattered. I think that was just stupid on my part. Not realizing that he would, uh... That he'd have... I don't know. Was it? No. No. I'm going to go with lucky as fuck. I did goof a bit, but I'm going to go with lucky as fuck. He had 30% crit and he got three in a row. That's like crazy. So while I get 3% chance, I think, that he deletes me that hard. Yeah, Merc's getting a little spooky, man. Mana Conceptor is going to be really interesting for the auto attack junglers. Arachne, Bakasura, Mercury. Uh, those are all the ones I can really think of right now. They're going to get pretty gross early game. No! Oh, I wanted Thoth to stay. Why does Oceans have to be good, dude? Stupid Oceans. Last fight, I'm like, all right, we're going to farm this Thoth. And then he just, like, he knows I'm there, and he just doesn't get caught at all, because he's Oceans, and he's good at the game, and I hate it. All right, I think we'll just farm for a sec. I want to actually get, like, energy built up if we can. Would be sick. <laughs> Ironically, that is a little bit more difficult with the builder going, because we don't live long enough to get energy built up, but... We'll see if we can get away with farming a little bit so we can build a bit more up and at the very least get little ult. At the very least. Alright, what's going on, boys? I think we do get a... Even though the map's bigger, I think we get a rotate out of soul lane and have more value now. I don't know if I feel that way just because of, like... Because I have been and whether or not we get away to... Like, I don't know if we actually get away with it, but... So far in PTS, it's actually felt like that works out pretty well. It's rotating. Can hopefully kill Merc? Does he have Blood Forge? He got shelled. Okay. Merc. Oh my god, he's so greedy. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's so greedy, man. Nope, no root. Nope, no root. No root. 
All right, we actually played that really, really well, so that's pretty pog. I feel a little bit better about not being able to kill him last time now. Yeah, look at the damage we do right now, man. Get off of me. Oh, you don't care? Oh, wait, this isn't... Wait, what? Why does it look... That looks sick, by the way. It's like some Dia... No, not Dia... Doom art right there. I don't know why I haven't noticed that. I don't know if it's because they have... Um, I'm assuming they got the Scorpion. But the red buff just looked like actually sick as fuck right there. Oh, I think we die. <laughs> the way he threw me away. Thank you. Thank you, I guess. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take a little extra life. A little power up right there. All right, yeah, we're gonna dip. We're gonna dip. We're just gonna keep building dumb items. Yep, red one sounds good. Dumb item. By the way, a lot of Arthur mains are probably gonna be a little bit triggered. I, I don't know. Are they gonna be that triggered by this build? The Ansel's stupid. I feel like the rest isn't all that weird. Um, but yeah, the way we're gonna build this video is just gonna be ridiculously like cooldown focused, damage focused, just try and like run at people and you know mash all our buttons. It's very ironic, honestly, that I'm talking about how great it is that Thorns is getting nerfed, and I'm just like, let me button mash with Arthur and see if we can one shot people. <laughs> it's like it's like the theme of this video. <laughs> oh my god, that poor Scylla. Merc, stop. Stop the bully. No. No. Oh, we got him stunned under tower? Big? We, we silenced? Okay, Ansel's actually busted. I take everything I've been saying back. Ansel is 100% worth. Oh my god. Thor just got bopped so hard, man. He took one Mercury one. No, don't you do it. Oh my god, man, I just want to turn on the Merc, and I actually can't. Oh god. That's eh, not what I wanted. Uler, remember me? I think he does. Oh, I think he remembers. Get me out. <laughs> We're actually slapping, dude, what the fuck? I, I actually, like, 100%, I take back everything I said. I take it all back. I was talking about Arthur doesn't scale that well. Ansel's probably stupid. Wah, wah, wah. And we're just absolutely slapping right now. This is gross. And these are good, I mean, they're trolling a little bit, but these are, like, nutty players that we're going against, too. I don't know. I think the biggest thing is, I think if we get focused harder, I think this build gets really bad. Um, but the Ansel, honestly, like... Feels crazy value right now, and I don't know if it's coincidental or what. Because it's not like they changed the passive, unless I'm dumb and didn't realize it. Yeah, it's not like they changed the passive. I think it's just really good against this team right now. Alright, why are we going solo lane, man? Who farms? Let's go PvP some more. Yeah, get me out of here. By the way, we're going to do a little... Oh my god. Little damage test. Apparently we farm this thing. I didn't think I didn't think it'd be easy. Okay. Yeah, alright. I remember trying to do this as like maybe I was low level, but I remember trying to do this as jungle like a while back on the uh the first round of PTS, and it was actually like a struggle. And we just like kind of farmed it on Arthur. Oh god, don't you do it! No. Stop, please. No. No. No, I'm scared. How did that hit? What? Huh? I feel like he's trying to bait me, and I feel like he's gonna succeed. Oh, never mind. He's actually farming. Oh god, he's gonna clap. Actually, I don't, I don't know if it matters. I think this fight's already over. Oh, Guan? Oh, he tried. Alright, we can, we can maybe keep Solo alive. I think that's probably about it right now. Uh, yeah, I may have spoke. Oh, oh, wait, it's looking juicy. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, she killed him back. Nice. Come here. Why are you still here? Bop. Oh, <laughs> let's go, dude. I knew he was low originally. I didn't think we'd one shot the man. I'm actually slapping so hard. This is sick. I love it, dude. Hi, Rez. I love you so much for finally giving me the season I've been waiting three years for. For finally giving me the season where we get to do things in solo lane again. Alright, I don't know where Thor was going with that one. 
Hang on, we're playing Arthur. He thinks he gets to run, and that's cute. Oh, he gets to run. All right, Thor, do things. I don't reach. Never mind. Unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where he's going with that Thor ult, man. Unless he like didn't reach. I guess I don't know where he ulted from. So maybe he literally couldn't catch up to him. Oh my god. I want to know how ahead we are in damage. Rama, if you... Okay. Okay. You sealed your fate. You get purple, I get wave. Um, but uh, I really want to know... Wait. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I blanked. I'm lost. I don't know where I am. I'm going to shut up. I had things I was going to say, but I completely lost track of what they were. Oh, wait, I remember now. Yeah, I want to know uh, how, like, how top damage we are right now. Because <laughs> I feel like, I feel like it's by a large margin. Like, not only is our KD kind of ridiculous compared to everybody else, but, I mean, these fights, I feel like, are just, they kill our team, and then we clean up really hard. So we probably have some stupid stats. Oh, rip, she almost got it off. Oh! Good job, boys. Good job. Merc soloing gold. Stop. Hang on. We hit him with a sneaky. Okay, that, it wasn't so sneaky. I tried. We didn't have blink. The one thing that sucks is I feel like we can't build much energy right now. It's been a big struggle. I guess we'll just hit Cthulhu. I can't reach anybody else. But... Bah. Uh oh. Oh wait, we're about to get big ult. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're chilling. We're chilling. We just got a big ult dueler real quick. Or Merc. I'm bad. Alright, I'm bad. We lose. Nope, stop. Please. Oh my god, Ansel was huge too. We just got CC'd. Oh my god, that was such a shit ult. I feel bad about that one. I'm pretty sure we legit one-shot Uler unless he was going to have beads there. Our ult should have done so much if we actually landed it and didn't potato it. Oh well. Oh? Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> oh? <gasps> no, she doesn't. Oh, she doesn't have her three up like anytime soon. She actually shit all over that man. So it's pretty unlucky she didn't get the kill. Yeah, look at our power right now, boys. And we're almost at Bluestone, too. By the way, for anyone curious, because we are going to, like, I've, I've been straight up not worrying about talking about some of the new Season 8 mechanics, because I can just, like, work it in when it's a little more applicable. Like, that's why I haven't talked about the uh, the Scorpion that we did earlier, even though I'm sure some of you guys were like, what the fuck, there's a Scorpion now? Uh, <laughs> so I feel like we're going to talk about those things when they're a little more relevant. Um, but one thing that is relevant, because we're getting to it right now, is Bluestone. Uh, the upgrade is something we're getting to right now. All the new starter items that they're adding in get upgraded normally at level 20. I want to say the tank ones, like the support ones, um, get upgraded at level 17. And I shouldn't say get upgraded, but you can upgrade them once you get that level. So, you have to be- oh god, no, please, please, no. Well, I'm trying. It's a little bit out of my hands, but I'm trying. Wait. Bop. Oh, I tried. We are way we are way too split. I was gonna go in, but then I realized Scylla was at Phoenix and Rama's in left tower. So uh we're just they, they get fire. <laughs> moral moral of the story, they get fire. That's fine, man. Um but yeah, blue stone, we can upgrade at level 20, it costs fifteen hundred gold. I can't remember if all the starter items cost the same amount to upgrade. I think most of them do, but I can't remember if they all cost the same exact amount. But the Bluestone upgrade and most of the starter item upgrades tend to have one that's basically just an enhanced version of the original and one that's a little bit off um, and is something that'll maybe work if you want something a little bit different. And so for what for us, what we're going to do is the Bluestone Brute, which is basically just an upgrade of Bluestone. And instead we do um, more damage by doing extra percentage of their health with Bluestone. And it gets kind of ridiculous. So instead of just doing the 25 over 2, we also do 7.5% of their health over 2. And that's kind of nuts. Oh, damn, we did not do much to him, did we? Did he life steal through part of that, or did I just do potato damage now? Be right back. I think he must have life stealed, like, same time. But yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun, man. I'm actually really looking forward to that. God, I want to kill him. We absolutely can't. 
I don't even know why he's running right now. Thor? Thor? Yeah, he kind of goofed. Yeah, he kind of goofed a bit. Yeah, it's actually such a struggle. I just want my little ult, man. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I'm talking about with PTS. Like, these guys are enough better than our team that, like, they're, they're trolling a bit and they're completely getting away with it. But it's fine, man. I mean, it just, it is what it is. At least it's fun, right? <laughs> At least it's fun. Oh, shit. Clap him. Wait, let me in. All right. Stop. Nope, stop. Wait, do we get a kill Uller? What the hell? What are you aiming at? I want my boys. Oh, I potatoed, man. I tried to whoop you wop That was actually going to be sick. Nope, stop. You don't know where I am. Hey, you didn't know where I was. That was going to be such a sick ult, man. I'm actually pissed that I whiffed it. Because I literally blinked through Thothroot and was about to stack him. And instead I stacked none of them. And I suck. Yeah, so we're actually full build, by the way. Like, we just hit level 20 a little while ago. We just upgrade our blue stone. And boom, full build. Which is kind of cool. I feel like the builds um flow a lot better now. You don't, like, sell blessing, buy thing. Like, now it's just, oh, eventually we're going to sell boots. At least normally. Sometimes you still want to sell your starter item, but that's pretty rare. Normally the upgrade's good enough that it's worth keeping. Because most of the upgrades are really good. Most of them are better than a typical tier 3 item. Wait, do we win? Excuse you? We don't win, right? They're dead for a long time. So we actually get a lot of progress out of this. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think they're going to actually throw. I feel like Merc is going to, like, delete a Phoenix and win game. I can feel it coming. Oh, he immuned it. Well played, man. Oh my god. We got so slapped so fast. Are you kidding me, dude? What the fuck? I took... Look at this. Look at this. Merc does 650. Golden Blade did 400. Oh my god. Given I'm I'm squishy as hell. I, I'm like, I'm super squishy. We get melted. At least considering I'm a max build solo laner. But, uh... But, oh my god. The, the Golden Blade just doing absolute work right there. That was gross. Alright. Um, I think we're not gonna sell anything off of this build. It is definitely worth noting, while this build gave us a stupid mid-game, our, our late game's gonna be ass. Because people are gonna just, like, like, naturally level into getting, like, a high amount of health. And so we do good damage, but we get absolutely melted, and I definitely don't think it pays off. But it's fun, and that's what matters. But worth noting, if you guys want to try this for yourselves, uh, do it do it at your own risk. This is not a uh, officially endorsed build, alright? I don't put my name on this. Even though I shouldn't, and I should come up with something sick like the vampire build, and then I'll market it. Alright, um... What do we do? Fire's down for a while. Thor's dead. Is he dead? Maybe he's not dead. I don't know what we do right now. We just try and peel for the boys. Oh god, if we were grooved, we could actually slap Thoth right here, I think. Did he just say this horn gives him extra penetration? I mean, I guess not wrong. But, but high res, come on. Oh, slapped? Did I miss that? I'm bad. He's dead, but I'm bad. Bop. <laughs> that was such an unnecessary dunk. All right, uh, we might win game. We actually, we somehow win this. I guess it's not somehow. They trolled really hard and through. But, <laughs> unless, actually, wait, I am speaking too soon. Merc could 1v5, and we are just stacking in middle lane for the juiciest Merc ult of all time. But I have upgraded shell, so no, we win game. We win game. Yep, upgraded shell, you lose. Nope, upgraded shell. I don't think it even mattered there. I think the whole 1v5 thing kind of did the trick. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. 
Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. We finally got to take our first look at the Season 8 PTS, which I'm super excited about. Hopefully we can get a ton of videos. I don't know how long the PTS is going to last. I don't know if it's going to be up for, for days, for one day, for a week, whatever. Because uh, I'm trying to think. I want to say Season 8 comes out like late January, like somewhere just like ballpark, like the 27th or something like that, which is about two weeks out. Uh, so I'm really hopeful that PTS stays up for at least a few days and that we can get a bunch of PTS content out and that I can save it up and keep putting it out even once it goes down because uh, I would love to actually goof around with the season. So far, it looks like it's really hype. And at the very least, even if it ends up being disappointing, it's it's a fun change of pace compared to the past three years of Smite, which have stayed <laughs> mostly the same. Uh, last thing, my damage did not, oh my God, it did not go into the late game. I'm sad about that. I feel, I feel like we probably had like top damage by far early, but oh my God, we got outpaced at the end. These guys started clapping cheeks. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.